Hello everyone and a very very warm welcome to another session from Economicspedia. Alright, so today's session is a very interesting one as uh, it is from the pack of developmental economics. If you remember in uh, yesterday's one of the polls we have asked like uh, which type of session you want to be in. So the last time I checked it, uh, the developmental economics was having a majority and that's why this session is here for all of you. So as you can see written on the board, the topic of today's discussion is a very interesting one that is the HDI, Human Development Index. So I'm going to give you a brief about uh, the HDI measure, why it's important, it's some features, the, the very famous formula for it, that how can you measure and some of the uh, important information related to competitive exams because uh, the, the pattern of competitive exams are changing. You all know and are aware of that. If you are not, then listen to this one very, very minutely because you don't just have to know the concept. You have to know the recent or current statistics that uh, the uh, particular country or uh, particular state is having and everything like that. All right. So let's begin today's session on Human Development Index. Now, this is a very, very famous index, right? And this is something if we can take it as this is a statistical index. So the key terms, it is a statistical index. And it was developed by United Nations. And it has been into use since 1990. And why it is being used up? What is the usage of this measure? It measures the changes in the development of both the societal as well as the economic development of various countries over the time and we can compare them, right? And for entire uh, phenomena, there are four major areas on to which this HDI is focusing on. Okay, so there are four critical area. Let me uh, write the separately the four major areas. Four major areas. Number one, it says the mean years of schooling. Okay. Number two, it talks about the expected years of schooling. Now, there is a fine line difference between the mean years and the expected years of schooling. And I'm sure you got that. However, if you have some doubts or queries, please comment below or you can look at on the description box. There are some uh, contacts given to which you can contact us if you have any kind of problem in this session and in another session as well. So, the third one, the third important major area of, uh, of the HDI that it focuses on is the life expectancy. When at birth. Now why possibly any measure would include this life expectancy at birth? Because this indicates or highlights or point out the living condition of the country. Because at birth, this is the most critical time, right? So if, uh, if an infant is surviving or not, depends on the condition of the uh, family and of the economy of that particular country. So this is the life expectancy at birth. And the fourth and the final one, it talks about GNI per capita. Gross national income per capita. So these are the four areas broadly onto which HDI focuses on. Okay, so what we can say that HDI is a measure which helps in measuring the development of various countries over time and which are comparable, which we can compare. Okay. Now, an important uh, fact about HDI is that it lies between 0 to 1. There is a range into which, since this is a statistical statistic, right? It's a statistic. So, there has to be a bound into which the measure will lie. So, it lies between 0 to 1. 1, of course, it says 
better better position right and zero it says the condition of the country is low or it's not up to the mark okay stay till the end because i am going to talk about the ranks of our country and uh, some of the important countries as well all right so these are the four major areas into which sbi focuses in its measure now for the competitive exams you really have to know these following information that i'm going to talk about in the next couple of minutes so the number one is that this sbi as i mentioned that it is compiled and uh, compiled by united nation development program undp for 193 countries in the world okay it's been compared so compiled and compared by UNDP for 193 countries now these are the four major areas how SDI has put this in, in their report is like they focuses on education so let me write these words it talks about education it talks about health i hope the screen is visible yeah it talks about income and it talks about the living condition right so education it talks about the mean years of schooling that means it is uh, measuring through this health it talks about the life expectancy at birth that talks about health income it talks about the gni per capita gn uh, gross national income per capita living conditions again it talks about the life expectancy so basically the education is compiled of one and two right this is the um, broadly these are the terms gn uh, gd hdi uses in its measure or in its report so make sure you understand which to which uh, terms you have to you know uh, match in order to understand for yourself all right now let me give you the formula the very very famous and easy formula through which this hdi is being measured Okay, so as I mentioned, this HDI, it lies between 0 to 1, okay? So the highest value that any country can have is 1 and the lowest value that any country can have is 0. So there's a very famous formula for HDI. It talks about one third of life expectancy There are various uh, forms of this formula. I'm giving you this form plus one third of education plus one third of per capita income. So these are the broadly uh, the the indicator the SDI has put all the indicators into three major groups that is one life one is life expectancy another one is education and another one is per capita income now this per capita income is very important if you could uh, just go back and rewind couple of minutes back you will find that it is written gni per capita okay so per individual how it is varying that we are going to capture through this hdi and this is what we are doing that's why it is per capita income all right so this is the formula through which of course hdi um, you can find it there are various forms of the formula are there however this is a very easy one and a very famous one that we keep on increasing using in our education line in our academics line as well all right now coming to some again uh, important information related to competitive exams where they ask you sometimes the the ranks of the country so since we all are in India, and let me just begin with the country India. India is having, out of 193 countries, India's rank is 134. Okay? 
so the first country to hold the rank of one the the best country as per G HDI is can you guess if you can just pause the video and give it your guess or you can write in the chat box we will be answering you back so the number one country to hold the rank of one is Switzerland and it is having a value of HDI let me give you that it is 0.967 that's that's like 0 0.967 this is for Switzerland and this is having a rank of 1 however India on the other hand the value is 0 0.644 okay this is India and it is having a rank of 134 out of 193 countries so I hope this uh, very crisp information about HDI is really helpful to you and you have kept your own notes made your own notes and uh, do let us know below in the comment section that what is the next topic that you want for your uh, you know your areas to get brushed up and I would also request all of you to please keep a tab in our community tab of the of the economics media channel because there will be some question related to this HDI so that uh, basically I get to know that whether you have gone through this or you have gone through some extra information apart from the information that I've given you here okay and apart from this it's a great honor it's a uh, heart full of gratitude for all the love for all the support that you all are giving us from all across the globe and it is incredible how we are reaching to a family of 10,000 all across the planet once again. So thank you so much once again. And if you are new to our channel, make sure you press the subscribe button. And uh, just in order so that you never miss any update from our page, from our channel. And if you like this session, don't forget to hit on the like button. Till then, take care. Keep preparing. All the best. God bless.